Dick Cheney popped up on my radar for the first time when I heard him say in regard to uh, the decision made by George Herbert Walker Bush not to topple Saddam Hussein but to simply drive him out of Kuwait. That was their mission in the original Gulf War years ago. And someone asked him, why didn't you go all the way to Baghdad? Why didn't you get rid of Saddam Hussein? And Dick Cheney said, how many casualties is Saddam worth? Not many. End of quote. How many casualties is Saddam worth? Not many. So now you have a clue to my take on the, the so-called war on terrorism. But today I found a, a disagreement with Dick Cheney because he calls uh, Edward Snowden a traitor. In my mind, international communism, creeping communism, is the real threat. And the threat of a, of a city, a, an American city, being obliterated by an atomic bomb unleashed by a terrorist organization pales in significance to the threat of spreading, creeping international communism. Dick Cheney says he, he approves of the NSA surveillance program because he personally knows Keith Alexander and Mike Hayden. He knows that they're patriotic and upstanding, good people, responsible people. What Mr. Cheney doesn't grasp is that uh, these trustworthy American patriots in charge of the NSA or the CIA, whatever the case may be, are not running the government. If the surveillance capabilities of the NSA are abused, I'm not worried about Keith Alexander abusing these capabilities. I'm concerned about Eric Holder and Barack Obama abusing these surveillance capabilities to quash their political enemies as they have been doing, as they do routinely. Sure, terrorism is a problem. Let's put that aside and focus on the real problem, creeping international communism aimed at the takeover and the fundamental change of the United States into communism. These communists are not at all trustworthy and their agenda is not at all in the best interest of the United States or the world. This is totally different from uh, the threat posed by Adolf Hitler with bombs and rockets and bullets. This is a psychological war in which the media plays a part because media influences people's thinking it imparts false information and it with, withholds important information. It distorts reality. The true prism is the media. So the reason I disagree with Dick Cheney about the unleashing all this vast wartime surveillance capability on any and everybody without a search warrant totally in conflict with the Constitution will give all this tremendous power to those who are known to abuse it. I'm not worried about Keith Alexander or Mike Hayden. I'm concerned about the political appointees that Obama places over each and every department of the executive branch, and I'm worried about his cohorts 
taking over and controlling every committee in the U.S. Congress, in the Senate, and the House of Representatives. With the cooperation of the media and even the educational system, the threat posed by international communism and their confederates in the media and in education and both branches, all three branches of the government, they're in the Supreme Court now even. There are, there are federal judges now, even. I don't want this leftist flood of barbarians who are now inside the gates of the city. They, their invasion has already happened. We are occupied. We are the one who has been invaded and occupied. 